Hey guys, welcome to Crypto Mining Insider. Today I'm hoping to rebuild these 83080 cards into an Octo Miner. See, I think they all need thermal pads, and it's really hot where I am right now. Even my mining farm's up to 108 degrees, so it's like an oven in here. But I'm hoping by putting these cards inside of an Octo Miner, I don't have to be bothered with doing thermal pads, at least not right now with Ethereum turning proof of stake really soon. I want to keep these cards mining. So I'm hoping that an Octominer kind of saves the day and buys me some time. Here's my 83080 cards running in my open air mining frame. And although I'm seeing a decent hash rate from it, wow, they are running hot. It's like a barbecue hot, a lot of these cards. 106 degrees Celsius. I know better than that, but I'm cooling around it to try to keep them going while Ethereum. Look at these temperatures, 106, 108, 108, 104, 108. 106, 110, and 102. Wow, that's really, really hot. I'm surprised it's not thermal throttling more at 110. I definitely need help, and I'm really crossing my fingers. I'm praying that this Octominer is going to be my answer because I don't really want to get involved with doing thermal pits, especially with Ethereum mining coming to an end, possibly as soon as you know September 19th is what they're saying. Who knows? I guess time will tell with that. I'm hoping that at least the Octominer with those super fans it has is going to bring down a lot of these temperatures and maybe buy me some more time and maybe I won't have to do thermal pads for all of these cards. I've just let this rig cool off before I pulled it off the shelf and it is heavy. But it's a powerhouse of a rig. It has 83080 cards and it's capable of over 800 mega hash. So even though it's thermal throttling right now, I don't want to keep it down because with Ethereum going proof of stake soon, that could be a lot of lost revenue. Let me give you a quick breakdown of the rig. On the very far left, there's an Asus Strix 3080, Founders 3080, followed by two more Strix 3080 cards. Then there's three EVGA 3080 XE3 cards. And snuck in under the bottom left, I have a Founders Edition 3080 there too. And this is all running on an Acerock H110 Pro BTC motherboard. And this is all primarily powered by a Delta power supply, server PSU 2400 watts, and another EVGA power supply behind that. Now that I got my eight hot RTX 3080 GPUs out of my mining rig that was running really hot in my farm, I'm all set to start putting it into my Octo Miner. I thought this would be a great opportunity to share with you what's really included with an Octo Miner. This one, I just opened it up outside of the box, and the only thing I've done so far is just take the cover, the case off. And I'm going to go through it step by step. It comes with a simple little instruction of a few little items you have to do. It doesn't come with the lithium battery. You just have to add the battery to it. And it gives you some basic boot up and assembly instructions, as well as there's some online guides and troubleshooting tips that I'll actually put a link down below in case you're curious. But I really want to give you a picture of the landscape of what this case is. So this is an Octo Miner. The purpose of an Octo Miner is it's supposed to be an all-inclusive mining rig in the sense that it has your power supplies, you have your motherboard, your CPU, your RAM, everything you need to go. And there's even a hard drive right in the front that you can slide out. I believe it's a 60 gig hard drive. It's kind of like a one-stop shopping that you don't have to worry about buying, finding where your motherboard is going to be, your Intel chips, uh, what is going to be the fan and ventilation. And that's what's wonderful about this setup. It's supposed to be a complete mining rig. And I'm going to walk you through it. So in the very, very front of the mining rig here, you'll see this is actually a Bosch. It's an environmental sensor, and it actually has thermal sensors on the intake exhaust as well as even the air pressure. I know there's other sensors around the unit for monitoring the different power utilization and even getting accurate power at the wall numbers. And what's even more beautiful is on the outside, of course, I still have to put on these brand new red handles on either side, so it's like a rack mount. But what's great is really what's inside of this unit. In the back here, this is really your motherboard, and it has all the PCIe slots built right into it. And it has wide spacing on the X8 Ultra version, 65 millimeters to be exact. Right here is your CPU. There's eight gigabyte of RAM, I believe it's DDDR3. And there's a lot of space in here. You also have wires. I didn't open it up yet, but the wires are cut and stranded at different lengths. So you'll have wires that go to the far side of it and shorter wires for the near side of it. And what's great too is in the very back, there's actually hot swap power supplies. So on my unit, it comes with four 750 watt power supplies. They're all at a platinum rating of 94% plus. So 
all of this is really a great solution and what's very attractive to me is the fans and I have to see what the fan noise level is going to be because they spin very very high speed and they're really designed to work with a lot of graphic cards and in this unit I'm going to be putting eight graphic cards so we're really going to see I have it in an open air rig and then we're going to put those cards that were running hot in here and let's see if we get any performance difference but with these fans one of the things that's very attractive about this unit is they're up to 240 CFM Whereas the fans that you normally see that I run on the front of my mining rigs, they're about 57 to 60 CFM, which it does a great job. But wow, that's four times as much, 240 CFM. And I hope this kind of paints a picture for you of what's in these cases. Another thing I wanted to make a mention of is, is that if you take some of your wire cards, like this is actually a very wide card. It's an Asus Strict. It's an RTX 3080 card. It's very thick. It's probably like three slot. It's a very beefy card. I would be able to put this card in here and still, according to them, have adequate room. Let me get one in. Okay. That's the Asus Strix 3080. This is an EVGA 3090 card. So these are both very, very thick cards. Although there's not a tremendous amount of space, apparently this type of a case is built to handle this type of a load. And I can still see that there's some spacing in here. I'd have to test though too, under pressure, you know, what it's gonna be when I put these type of cards in here. But at least it has the ability and capacity to carry it. But I'm gonna be testing the fans to see if it can really keep the cards cool with, you know, such a small gap in between them. Overall, I'm excited about doing this type of a build because it's very different from the open air mining frames I've done in the past. In the past, I've normally spaced my cards wide. I put a fan even before it, as well as even have pulling it in front of it and keeping ventilation in my mining farm is also a big key so but if i can have better ventilation over my cards i think i'll do a lot better and as i was showing earlier in my video my cards they're great 3080s i mean look aces strix cards and some of them uh, along with nvidia and even some evgas but these cards are cooking hot like a barbecue so i got to do something and i'm really interested to see if this octo miner is going to be a good solution that's not only going to be functional and replace what i currently have but if it's going to let me do it better if it's going to let me get a higher hash rate as well as maintaining a lower thermal temperatures on my cards looking at the back side of the octo miner you can see how clean the wiring is having those cables already cut to the right length is a big help for me and let me put this rig together really quick so with this all set i'm ready to start it up i already put the battery in it so let's give it a try let me start this rig up and voila I have 83080s running, and wow, do you hear those fans pumping up right now? I guess that's what I pay for with these Octo Miner, being able to have the additional cooling. And it looks great. It's a shame I'm going to have to cover it up, but let me go in a little closer so you can hear those fans. Wow, they're really loud compared to what they were on my other rigs. But hopefully, this helps me and gives me that additional cooling so I don't have to worry about thermal pads, at least not yet. Let me cover this up, and we'll start this rig. I just put the cover back on this rig case and let's give a test. So this is going to be my initial test of the Octominer X8 Ultra Plus. Let's press that start button and moment of truth is here. Wow, do I really hear these fans kicking on. They're, they're pretty bold, much more aggressive than I was even expecting. And especially when you have the cover back on the case, you really feel the airflow coming out of this. It, it's, it's pretty insane. Let me put the mic a little closer so you can hear. I have an anometer, so let me test it out. The wind speed of it gives you an idea of the velocity. I'm at 5.3, 5.5 even. I was getting up to meters per second. So that's really, really quite high. If I compare it to my open air mining frames, I'm looking there at like low 2.2, 2.3. So you can't compare. It's night and day difference between an open air frame and the airflow that I'm getting out of this Octominer. Hopefully this helps me and gives me much better cooling. I'm really happy with this so far, but I can't wait to go test it out in the miner. So let's go see how it's looking on Hive OS. These are my eight red hot cards running now inside the Octo Miner. I can definitely see a significant improvement in reduced temperature. So it's definitely the additional fans ventilation through this unit is significantly helping my cooling. Although my cards are still running extremely hot, it's definitely a big improvement over what I had before. Now I'm seeing temperatures on average of 102, somewhere now below 100, like 98, 98. 
A couple of these cars are still, I'm gonna have to see about doing thermal pads because I have an Asus and a couple of NVIDIAs that are just still running really hot. Even though I have zero on the memory overclock setting, this car is still running at 104 degrees, which is uncomfortably too hot for you know my own preferences. But with Ethereum mining coming to an end very soon, I'm hesitant. Do I really want to stop anything more with this rig or do I just kind of want to get every little blessed ounce of Ethereum as I can? In the meantime, I may see about flipping them over to another altcoin, maybe mine some Ergo or something with them. But at least, you know, my other cards, I think they're running manageable. Not ideal, but at least manageable. And again, a significant improvement from what I'm seeing from the open air rig. Speaking of which, let's take a look. So we're seeing numbers now ranging from 98 degrees and the hottest is 104 with some 98, 100, 102. So in previous, when we was on the open air rig, I was blistering hot. So that's right, these were my temperatures. You see a lot of numbers here in 106, it's 108. It's just, it's like an oven in there. I could probably, you know, cook up some good barbecue if I wanted to. And I know if I could do that, it's not healthy to be doing that on my cards. So overall, I'm just extremely happy with the mining results I'm seeing so far with this Octa Miner. Did it alleviate the problem of thermal pads completely? No, absolutely not. As in the case you can see here, these cards are still running at 104 degrees Celsius with none of the memory overclock. So not only are they running hot, they're running very inefficient. But that's not the fault of the case. It's just the card, and I guess it needs thermal pads or poor thermal design with it. Overall, I'm extremely happy with this purchase, and I purchased this Octo Miner with my own money. I'm not sponsored, or they didn't send me this unit, so this is a really objective review of it. And I plan to get maybe another Octo Miner case, hopefully in the near future, for some of my other 3080 cards to keep them cooler, as well as be able to even monitor them, because some of these new features that they have in with the Octo Miner cases with Hive integration, it's really fantastic. So. And I scroll down here a little bit. I can see I have some information and metrics on the fans, how they're running, the rig air temperatures, some environmental sensors, even the air temperature and pressure on it. And then up top, I have this new icon, which is, I think, very cool. And it's an extra octo miner icon built right into Hive OS. And I can come in here and configure how this miner is working, as well as some thresholds for the fans and, you know, to regulate some of the temperatures even further and customize it. And I'll be covering that thoroughly in another video. But for today, I just kind of wanted to share kind of the before and after. So this is the after. So before I was, wow, look, at that's like the sun. That's super hot. These numbers, you know, 108, 110. Now at least getting them down to more manageable numbers is a big improvement for me. So I just, I'm really happy with this purchase. And I just wanted to share this with you. I'm really happy with my Octominer purchase. And as you could see, it made a significant difference in cooling my really hot 3080 cars, but it didn't alleviate the problem that I had with the thermal pads. I'm still gonna have to probably do some of the thermal pads on some of those cars, but wow, it definitely made a significant difference. And it's not just with the cooling, the overall layout of the unit. I think it's really elegant. The wiring solution that the wires are pre-cut to the right length, as well as it comes with the proper power supplies and those fans, they're so powerful. So I'm really happy with this, and I think I got great results of it. And I hope this gives you some insight if you were considering an Octo Miner, especially since we did kind of a walkthrough too to show you what's included and what's inside of it. If you've enjoyed this video, please give me a big thumbs up, like, and don't forget to press down on that subscribe button so you're notified of future video updates as well as some of the new hardware I'm about to be reviewing. I'm gonna save that for the next video. So until next time, stay safe. See you in the next video. Happy mining.